In today's video, we will be exploring Leonardo's new feature called Motion, which would allow us to bring our ideas to life in moments with generative video. So it will be able to convert any of your outputs or other people's outputs from the recent creations over here or in the community feed, you will be able to turn their artworks into life. Now, how will you be able to find this feature? Now, if you click on the motion, of course, uh, there won't be any uh, direction wherein you will be able to do it instantly, but it will give you a tutorial on how it will be done, as you can see here on their video. So to be able to do this, simply select an image that you would like to convert, for example, or rather not convert, put into motion. For example, over here, this uh, image of an anime girl over here, it has a lot of details. And as you can see here, there is this image to image option over here. If you hover over the text, it will mention generate video from this image. And by simply clicking on image to motion, there we go. You will be able to see here motion strength. This section of the settings will determine the amount of movement added to the original image. It has a maximum of 10 and a minimum of 1. You will have to play around with the settings depending on the image that you're trying to play with. For example, this image that we have over here is a pretty flat image, so we really don't need that much motion. So for me, I'm going to set it to 2. If it's an image wherein you could visualize that it has a lot of motion, for example, let's look for an image over here in the community feed that would say that. For example, this one, you could set it up to a bit higher, like you could set it to 7 or the 5, which is the default. So let's actually look for one that we would like to uh, percent. So first things first, let's go back to our example over here and let's click on motion to motion and let's do the first one that we mentioned, which is two. Now you could put the visibility of this to other users on the platform, but you could also have it private, but you will need to upgrade your plan for you to be able to have this. As you can see also the generate coin or like the price to generate a video is 25 coins. So let's generate that. And as you can see here, we will be able to generate or we will be able to view our generated video in the gen page or the personal feed when it is complete. So let's click on view generation and you will be redirected to the generation page over here, which is where you typically generate videos or other images. Now keep in mind that specific photo or that, that specific conversion costs 25 coins. Now for us, we only have a limit of 150 coins as a free user. So if you have an upgraded account, of course, you will have more coins. But for us free users, you will be able to use it a few times. So you're going to have to be careful with your coins. And as you can see here, uh, currently it's been working on it for over 50 seconds every year. So you're going to have to give it uh, some time. And there we go. It's now complete. Uh, let's wait for it to load. And there we go. Uh, let's open this. And it's not a lot of motion since it's set to 2, but as you can see, it's actually uh, moving up. So let's actually try and see if we will be able to add more to the effects. So this time, I want to try, I guess, 4. Or let's go with the default 5. Now, while this is generating, let's actually look for another example over here that we could try with a higher level of strength. Now... Uh, this method is very easily accessed, or rather, this feature is very easily accessed, especially with the amount of uh, photos generated by the community. So you could experiment with a lot of photos that they uh, provide. For example, we could have this one. Let's try having a high motion with this one, generate. Now, I think we only have 75 coins left, so let's generate one more. This one, this is a perfect image for a very high motion strength and generate. Now, if you're wondering how will you be able to generate or rather make your own image into a motion, like you don't look through the different community feed, how do you make your own image into animation or rather a motion? Now, to be able to do this, first things first, you're going to generate an image over here on your Leonardo AI. After generating that, you will be able to Go to your personal feed over here, and you will be able to see some images that you have previously generated. So if you select one that you like, for example, I generated 
uh, this image over here, if you view your own generation from the personal feed, you will be able to see the option image to motion. So we could set it up and click on generate. So let's go and view our generated images over here. Right now, this one was the first one, minimum movement with a level two. This one was the default uh, five. And as you can see, the, the bubbles or rather the water is actually fluid in this uh, video. As you can see here, you will be able to see the bubbles like moving around. And the character is just uh, uh, moving a bit, but it's focusing on the movements on the particles around the character, like the elements around it. Looking on the other one, we have this one. As you can see, the water on this one is rippling. It didn't really affect our dolphin over here and the space in the background, but the water is actually moving as you can see here, which is actually very cool. And this one is for the max level over here. As you can see, it looks very nice. It looks or it worked really well with the type of image that we have. And you're going to have to be careful or rather you're going to have to be smart with the level of a strength that you're going with. Like I said earlier, it costs 25 coins so you won't have a lot of chance unless you wait for another day. And you're going to have to figure out what type of level would be perfect for the type of image that you're going to use it for. As you can see, this one has a lot of potential, a lot of elements that can be moved so you could definitely use this with a max level. And over here for our last generation, I think I set it up for five. So I don't see much difference with this one, but I it depends on the image. Oh, there we go, as you can see. So it's actually moving like uh, we're walking through the forest. So it will recognize the type of image that you gave it. As you can see, for example, this one, it has a flat character and it recognized the elements around it, like the bubbles, and we gave it a dolphin with water and it recognized that this section over here is water so it made a rippling effect with this and this one it recognized that this is an entire galaxy so it made the entire galaxy revolve about or on this specific center star over here and lastly over here it recognized that this is some sort of tunnel that it will walk through or you will be able to walk through so it's going to give you that sort of effect so we have 25 coins left and I will be able to do one more motion for me so that's basically it guys that is how you will be able to use the motion in leonardo if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching